Hello and welcome to another Maggie's Beer Review. So today we're going over to Blue Monkey Brewery based in Guildbrook in Nottingham for one of their super special barrel aged imperial stouts. So this is, as you can see on the can, uh, it's Tonka Bean and Rum Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. Alcohol content is 12.4%. Blue Monkey Brewery have been working on a barrel aged imperial stout series. We've reviewed six very special imperial stouts laid them to rest in different oak barrels um, 10 quid a can 60 quid for the set they are doing a tasting event next wednesday so if you live locally to the brewery from half past seven till i think it's half past four till half past seven better to check their social media than listen to somebody like me wow lovely nuttiness there slightly lively But you can always blame that on Raggy rather than the beer because, yeah, me and uh, lifting of beers. So this is a room temperature, albeit my room temperature. So, you know, obviously cost of living crisis. We're not having eaten on silly loads these days, so it does cool down uh, for the rest of the day. You know, one has to be prudent in these times. So as we can see, it's a lovely dark black pour with a like a beige head going on it this time. Um, I've had two of the beers out of the series so far. They've been absolutely gobsmackingly awesome. My absolute um, congratulations to everybody involved at the Blue Monkey Brewery. You know, um, I'm not actually sure who brewed it, but you've done a blooming good job. Um, very interesting that Blue Monkey have gone down this route because it, it's a statement for me. You know, I look at the breweries around us in Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire, and there are some amazing breweries. Blue Monkey came into like the craft beer scene literally about a year and a half ago now, uh, a year and a few months ago. Uh, put their foot in the craft beer scene, um, got some good brewers on board, so I, I know they're good for it. Um, uh, in the cost of living crisis, not easy, and um, they brought out a lot of different beers, and uh, you know a lot of very very nice beers as well. And I suppose it's getting people to. It's it's, it's enticing the young people who, who look at Blue Monkey as, as a modern traditional brewery and thinking, hold on a minute, they do some nice craft beers. I actually went into Nottingham City Centre last night. Uh, to the cock and oop and had the chocolate stout on keg. I seen it and I thought, oh, I'm having that. The chocolate was absolutely sublime. Obviously, I didn't do a review because I've, I've tried to stop doing reviews in pubs because you can't get a, a clear review out. But the chocolate, when it started to warm up, oh, it was like an hot chocolate, but in cold form. But oh, the chocolate, oh, <laughs> beautiful. I hope it's in, I hope it's in, I'm sure it's in my core box, to be fair. I think it is. So there we go. There's the pour. It looks amazing in this glass. Got the glass from the brewery at the weekend with the beers. Um, oh, you can smell the barrel on the nose. I got a slight nuttiness from the bit that came on the table. I have to wipe the table because the wife does cakes on the table. I don't want to get into trouble. You know, we've all got a boss somewhere along the lines, haven't we? That is absolutely sublime. Um, definitely get the nuttiness to it. I've actually put Tonka beans in one of my craft beers before, so I've done that before with Tonka bean. Definitely getting that bit of rum coming through. I'm loving the fact that I've chose the varieties. They haven't gone for six of the same or super similar. The tequila, the old fashioned um, wild turkey, which I found out afterwards. It's Kentucky bourbon. Um, very different bourbon though. 
I'm like, I didn't really get any bourbon from it in that respect. Tradition, what I know as a bourbon anyway. And let's be fair, we're all learning with, the, with what we do as beer drinkers. That's the real, that's what makes beer exciting. This thing of going into a beer and, and you know, opening a can what somebody's made, you know, and just dis discovering. That's what I think Canada's like for me. And, and beers, it's discovering a new beer. Sometimes the beer may or may not be to your thing. And then sometimes you'll get a beer like this, which, you know, it's like, oh, you know. And uh, it's a beer you want to see again. But you want it probably maybe on keg next time. I do think Blue Monkey needs to open a, a craft beer bar. Although, obviously, it's not the time at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, and, and then you've got to choose the right place. And again, that's difficult as well. I'm sure there are better people. I'm not a businessman, so I'm not the person to, to even think about that. But there is a little place called Beeston where a Blue Monkey craft beer bar could be very interesting. In the right place, of course. Because of the range of craft beer they already do. Um, you could have cask on the bar as well, obviously. You know, to appease cask beer drinkers and trad beer drinkers. But a craft beer bar with a, a range of 15 kegs, 15 to 20 kegs, five or six cask. Something very different to the organ grinder pubs. Oh, that would be um, quite mind-blowing. But obviously, you know, I'm a beer reviewer, so that, that's something I'd love to see. But obviously, um, you know, money, businessmen, you know, the, like I say, I am no businessman. Otherwise, I'd be charging more for my gardening skills. And, um, yeah. And if I was a businessman, I'd be, I'd be going into businesses, you know, on the internet, um, putting pubs in the right direction with tap takeovers. Because, by gosh, they didn't need it. So, back to the beer. Oh, the rum that's coming through is beautiful. I'm not sure of the actual, the actual rum, uh, branded rum that they've used, but I love it. I love this mixing of spirits and, um, and the mixing of spirits and beer. Imperial Stout mainly, in or at least. These beers are there to save you, savour, rather. They are amazing Christmas presents for me. I mean, if I've got any friends out there who want to buy Christmas presents, then yeah. Although my Christmas presents are already sorted. We've had to downscale this year, so yeah, it is what it is, you know. In the grand scheme of things, we're all realists. And uh, some people are doing better. Some people are doing very well in this, in this world we're in. And, uh, yeah, some not, maybe it's not so, and, uh, yeah, it is what it is, as long as you're happy, it's the main thing in life. Um, so, would I drink this again? Oh my gosh, Blue Monkey, this is the third of the six um, Imperial Stouts, and I'll say without any shadow of a doubt, it's a stunning series, um, all very different. Obviously, you know, if I was an Imperial Start fan, and uh, yeah, I am, <laughs> uh, all six, you know, yes. Um, and if I'm being absolutely brutally honest, the the premium um, beer, beers of Christmas, the 12 beers of Christmas premium, 85 quid. 85 quid is a lot of money to a lot of people, I get that. But if you spend that much money on somebody, 85 quid, you've got six banging Imperial Stouts. I haven't tried them three yet, but I know what they're going to be. And then you've got other six more beers. One of them is Chimpanzee, which is about 13 quid a can or bottle, whatever it is. And you're realising you're getting a lot of money beer 
for that for that 85 quid so yeah or 60 quid for just just for the impies but in any case um a nuttiness certainly the rum on the barrel and an absolutely stonking beer wow and it's going to lie down there feel sleepy um at five 4.62 all day long wow that is some beer well done blue monkey oh, i can't wait to try the other three yeah, at some stage yeah we're about getting a bollocking like i did the other night but there you go thank you for watching see you soon